Private 5G will become a catalyst for the rapid deployment of a new breed of industrial use cases designed to optimize operations, improve worker productivity, and enable new business models. Karthik Nahender, HPE Account Manager for Infosys, and Vikram Meagel, Vice President and Head of Engineering Americas at Infosys, join me to discuss how a leading automaker is piloting this integrated solution to drive plant productivity. Welcome to you both. So I'll start with you, Karthik. What sort of industrial applications need both edge compute and private networking? So I think, Clarence, you, you mentioned in your introduction, I think customers are looking to improve their productivity, improve their efficiency. And they are looking for applications that have extremely low latency, uh, very high position accuracy, um, to ensure that those applications are functioning along with the humans in the manufacturing floor to create that uh, efficiency in production. And to achieve this, uh, we need a high-speed network layer, which is the private 5G, but also the edge platform to ensure that those latencies are met for this high bandwidth, high, uh, high accuracy, low latency applications. So under what circumstances do you choose private 5G, public 5G, Wi-Fi 6, or something different? I don't think you uh, customers need to make that choice. Um, it is never a question of either or, but a combination. Um, I, uh, there are definitely use cases where one may be uh, better off uh, versus the other. Um, if a customer is looking for uh, applications where uh, for example, an AGV, which is going to be moving around in the shop floor, uh, then private 5G would make better sense. If the applications are fairly fixed, then Wi-Fi probably would be a little, ha little bit a stronger position. So uh, the bottom line is customers don't need to make a w either or choice, but it needs to be a combination. And Victor, can you give me an example of where you've helped a manufacturing client either improve productivity or reduce costs? Yeah, we're working with this automaker in Europe and uh, the, their entire concept is on how you can make the factory more efficient, but at the same time, how do you make the assembly plant revolve around the humans who are inside the plant? Traditional assembly plants have been fixed assembly lines and humans revolve around those assembly lines. So how do you do it the other way around? To maximize human potential, to ensure that you get maximum efficiency out, out of the plan. And for that, we are actually working with them in making a lot of use cases available on the shop floor, like autonomous guided vehicle, ensuring that we can create a security peri perimeter around every human who's standing there, right? Uh, looking at uh, the tools and how the tools can be configured differently based on the location at which they are and how they are going to be used by the human, right? Also look at uh, the ro robots which are on the plan, how they can interact with each other. And then finally, how the machines can be controlled in real time uh, and you can take real time decisions based on the data that is coming out and really instrument this complete uh, value chain together. Right, those are the use cases that we are bringing uh, to life and they are based on you know, low latency requirement, positioning accuracy, but also seamless mobility because some of those autonomous guided vehicles move quite fast through the plant. So you need to ensure that you can provide connectivity throughout that journey across the plant. And obviously reliability that the network requires. And there are some unique use cases like worker training on the job using AR, VR models, using digital twins to train the worker to ensure that they can actually do much better than what they are uh, you know, currently required to do. How do you uh, amplify their potential and allow them to uh, do larger jobs, better jobs, right? So all of that means higher bandwidth, real-time higher bandwidth on the shop floor. And all of these necessitates you having a network such as a private 5G, which you can control within the shop floor. So how can telcos work with Infosys to bring these solutions to their clients? Yeah, so uh, see the telcos are traditionally providing all the connectivity solutions to the enterprises. 
but what we can bring to uh, the telco journey is the very good understanding of the domains that we operate in and that could be a manufacturing plant and manufacturing plants are not the same you can have a discrete manufacturing plant you can have a process manufacturing plant you can have a semiconductor manufacturing plant each of them need a very different domain competency right and similarly you can apply to different industries oil and gas resources utilities you name it we in infosys have very good understanding of those domains we have invested in creating use cases and assets and applications around those use cases so that is one thing that we complement to what the service providers have and then the second part is how do we help them roll out these networks which need a tremendous amount of high touch engineering on the ground to ensure that the radio network is set up properly right how do we allow them to do that and manage the networks once the networks are in place we also built a unique software which allows uh, enterprises to manage their entire network through a single pane even though they might have different architectures at play behind right so how do we really allow them to uh, use that software so that the enterprises can uh, you know manage their networks better and the telcos can get better va value realization on the back of it so that's what we bring to the table and work closely with telcos in making this happen on the ground so where do you see all of this going in the future the future is actually going to be extremely connected and real time data uh, playing a very vital role in every part of the ecosystem right and that's where we see once uh, we are talking still one plan and how do you instrument machines within plan the future would be how do you connect different plans and have that interaction between them how do you connect auto automobiles to the infrastructure to ensure that it's not only what is happening within the automobile but what's happening around the automobile how do you realize those kind of use cases and that's where network technologies like 5g and at times private 5g is going to play a large role in making that happen if a business wanted to get more information where would they go to find out yeah so just go to infosys.com search 5g and you will have a lot of information on what we are doing with different industries and yep similarly within hp uh, we have a lot of uh, information on the hp.com website and again search for 5g search for telco you should find good enough information for that Excellent. Well, thank you both for being with us today. Thank you. Thank Clarence. you. Thanks, Clarence.